we have. This is what 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 we have. This is all that we have. I know, I feel so famous when you're stuck with Tell Up, right? Quite a long time, and not so very long ago, I moved from West Virginia to New York City to study theater because I was a serious artist. I was obsessed with New York City, and I wanted more than anything to escape the small town mindset that had been making me miserable for my entire angsty teenage life. The fear of being trapped in my hometown propelled me forward, and despite my slightly, if you can believe it, wild and unruly teenage ways, <laughs> finally manifested, no, femifested, in the full scholarship my single mother incessantly reminded would be my ticket out of state. Fuck yes, this was actually happening. My best friend from West Virginia grew up up a holler where she was made fun of for her light skin and her mixed race background. As she puts it, she was constantly reminded by all sides that she didn't belong anywhere. By the time I met her, she moved in with a musician friend of mine, dropped out of high school, and I thought she was pretty much the smartest, coolest person I had ever met. She moved to New York City a few months after I did, basically to hang out with me. I had a scholarship to study acting. She had a GED, a sick Chelsea cut, and a suitcase that we hid under my bed. We were escape artists, ready to break free from the gravitational pull of the mountains where we'd grown up and make our way into the unknown universe. Oh, I see. I see. <laughs> a full one would have been better. Now, nebulae are the birthplaces of stars. A nebula is basically a cloud of dust and gas. And inside the nebula, gravity causes the dust and gas to clump together, forming a proto or a baby star. Now, a developing star is not very stable. In order to achieve life as a star, the baby star will have to maintain equilibrium. It's a balance between gravity pulling atoms in towards the center and gas pressure pushing heat and light away from the core. So, we tell my new college roommates that my best friend lives in Bensonhurst, Brooklyn. So, it's too far for her to take the train home late at night by herself from our school housing. They had no idea where Bensonhurst was. So it was the perfect lie. The only reason I knew was because I'd met these spooky punk girls on St. Mark's Place and that's where they lived. Their parents went back and forth between Sao Paulo and Brooklyn, so they had the apartment to themselves part of the time. The younger sister, she was the responsible one, and some night she would drive us back from whatever bar or show we were hanging out at on the Lower East Side back to their place to sleep. If I could keep from passing out long enough, I would be rewarded with a vision of the glittery city slowly disappearing on the other side of the river as we crept our way into Brooklyn.